Greetings, Raven. Thank you for accepting this commission, and welcome to Kuamar. For the past 20 years, it has been controlled by two people, President Omar al-Baka and his wife, Bibi Rashida. Their regime is both cruel and brutal, but we saw no reason to interfere. Till now. How's the heat there, Raven? It's time to get familiar with your weapons and gear. The tactical visor we supplied provides a live feed from your scope. It's equipped with an advanced combat display. You'll be able to scan terrain as well as tag and track hostiles. We've also given you some extra tools. We'd prefer it if you didn't break them. I'll run through their features on our live fire range. Once you're happy, we can move on to the mission itself. Calibrate the mask's display to your biometrics. There's a training rifle ahead by the OP. Pick it up and let's begin. Roger that, Control. Take a prone but switch on your binocular display to enable hostile tags. Tag the target straight ahead. You're 12 o'clock. Tagging hostiles will give you their range and keep track of their movements. Your scope also allows you to measure range to targets. Go to glass and see for yourself. The upper left quadrant in your scope is a rangefinder. The target's height on that scale indicates their distance from you. It'll change according to your zoom ratio. Focus on your breathing. Splash this. Hit. Go for the next one. target, you're 12, 300 meters. I know you're used to doing the maths for range, wind speed and direction in your head, but we've saved you some time. Adjust for range and use the bullet drop curve to line the shot up. Check the distance and wind direction. Go for a headshot. Good. Raven, find your next target. Adjusting your scope to target's range will improve accuracy. I've marked the distance for you. Set your scope elevation to 400. By calibrating your scope properly, you won't have to manually adjust your aim up or down to compensate for the distance and bullet drop. Plenty of ammo. Restock or reload when you need it. I know you're a marksman, but use your binoculars to tag hostiles before taking the shot. It'll give you distance to target to zero your scope.
Excellent. First target down. Two more to go. Not bad. One more to go. Your scope is zero now. We can move on to the next stage of familiarization. Head to the door behind you. Move through the door to the next area. We have some additional kit to familiarize yourself with. First up, Falcon Drone. Pick it up. Select it from your inventory. Now launching. The Falcon can see when you can't. There are two enemies behind that metal wall ahead. Locate and tag them with the drone. CCTV boxes. We're looking into possible upgrades later. There's a CCTV access point in the building below. Send the drone in and hack it. That interference is caused by a jamming tower. You're likely to encounter more of them during your missions. They're heavily armored, so don't try to destroy them. Just keep the drone out of their jamming range. Your mask's hood will indicate when you're close to one. Thankfully, their heavy armor does limit signal range. Use the drone to find an alternate route to the CCTV box. These auto turrets sync with your hood. You still need to mark hostiles for the turret manually, but it can then fire at your command. Once placed, you set it up via your mask's binocular mode. Activate that now. Focus on the hostiles you tag with the drone. Then you need to mark them for your turret. Remember, turret marking is separate from your binocular tagging. Exit binocular mode and command the turret to fire. Once marked, you can execute the fire command anytime. You're done with gear familiarization. One thing I should mention, you can use a turret's inbuilt camera for overwatch, or use it to execute simultaneous shots, if needs be. Also, the turrets are under constant development. We may be able to upgrade them later. That's all the new gear covered. We have a spot set up to test special ammo too. Or you can head straight out. There's a truck waiting in the back.
Raven. I'm sure you know. The record for the longest sniper kill belongs to a Canadian Special Forces operator. During the Iraq War, he hit a target over two miles away.